Welcome back everybody, it's Fasan 19 to Mount Play 2 Banner Lord in the 1000 Day Siri Challenge. And I was just sitting in between episodes thinking how absolutely amazing this is. We spent about two and a half to three hours right now. We're only 37 days in. We got two workshops. We just put out a caravan. We still got almost 7,000. We got a little bit of food on us. It's, it's mind blowing. I, I thought we would do good, but with my, how I work my system and everything, but this is just absolutely freaking phenomenal. What I want to do is I want to push these guys because if somebody has an ex um, a train the troops, I can head that way. I'm actually going that way. That's my next city I'm going to. Wow. I'm getting that quite a few times that only 10% chance of getting a two relation boost. But I'm, I'm going that way. So that's uh, pretty damn amazing. I'll take that little bit of bonus. Nothing there. These guys can have it. All these guys can have extortion by deserters. We'll check this. Oh, he's burning it. Damn it, don't be burning. Ah, oh, this looks burned. Nope. Alright, who do we gotta talk to? 23 heads of sheep. There's 700. I'm going to get 400 from the mission. That was worth 1100. And, and relation boost, awesome. Boy, that's sweet. That is so sweet. Nice. And I got some charm. All right, back to what we were doing. Here we go, fish is 20. Yes, 24, oh my God. Freaking 24. Beer at. Oh, God. 39. Okay, here's here's dates. You can see how much that is. The, the thing is, dates drop fast. So we start at 81. We're going to take it down to about 40. 15.50. Beer. We only paid like about 20 for it. Here we're selling it for more than 50. Look at that. Four grand just like that. Boom. Three points in trade. And we're only a little over 2,000. Actually, it looks like I got 10 points in trade. Ooh, I hit 50. Now, uh, this is a great perk. You can carry 30% more weight, but now you pay your caravans. I'm going to go caravans just because I'm going to have more caravans than workshops. 30% more weight. Nice. Like I said, we only need about two grand. We get another 2,000 and we can send somebody else out. We're going to have another caravan going. Of course you guys burned it. You freaking losers. And of course you burned that one. The one that can actually have one. That's burned. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's burned. That's burned. Good job, guys. Thank you. 
jerks. There we go. That should be the two grand to send the next one out. We're gonna have a freaking second caravan out in under fifty days. This is this is crazy. She's gonna start making money real soon though. I mean a lot of money. It's about time to start chasing them. Because what happens is now the villagers don't help, so it's a little bit harder, but you get all the prisoners and all the loot. I didn't lose a single freaking guy. Not one. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. Three injuries, no deaths. Oh, there we go. Two grand for that. Uh, 2,500, 20, this is well over 3,000. I just got in loot. And then I'm going to talk to him. Four grand. In, in one deserter. Wow. Crazy. Okay, where do we place him? Um, we got to look, we got to do this right. We placed one in Poros, so we want to split them up. Poros, we can do it anywhere in here. Uh, I'm going to say Dinostica. That way we can go there and there. That would be four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're, we're planned out. Dinostica. Or Onira. Is it Onira? Let's think of this again. Yeah, Onira. And I think we're sending out the ragged. Yeah, Bray's not ready to go yet. And she just hit a. I thought she hit something. Somebody, somebody got some. So we're sending out the ragged, which is going to hurt me a little bit, because he's gaining so much from this, and um, scouting does not work in caravans or um, parties. Everything else works. Tactics, roguery, medicine, steward, it all works. I already have a bug report put in for that. So the ragged is going next. Um, we do have enough. So I want to take him off of scouting so I don't screw this up. As you can see, I have my wages nice and small. And now the ragged goes. Uh, district. We'll get rid of all of them. Trade. Make sure there's nothing here. Good. Goodbye. 3,500. Let us send out the ragged. God, this is amazing. I need another... Um, the problem is, is I need to get up to Tania. There goes the ragged. Alright, so I got one person left in my group, and he really needs that level before going out. He really needs that, because he's only sitting there... I want him to have 70. Um, he's got nothing to freaking learn. Jeez. I could send him out and bring him back in. Send him out. He's got to go out on foot. We'll see. The, the smarter move would be almost to throw him and have him do it now. Doing extortion by deserters would help. So let's just keep rolling. Let's see who's here. Nobody is here. Let's keep rolling. We don't have much on us right now. Uh, there you go. Look at how much I'm going to make already. We need to head back down and buy. Did I sell here? I don't think I sold here. I'm 
granite 14. Even though it's green, it can still be Merry Little Prophet. There we go. Nah, it's only 30. Beer? 50. I'll sell it all. I'll go out and buy some beer. That's another two grand. We're up to 6,400. Three more points into um, trade. And now we're going to head back down again. And of course, we are going to check these for extortion by deserters. Hello there. Hello. There's 2,700 waiting for us. We really need to find another companion. So on this trip, I'm going to actually head north. And you'll see it when I start doing trading. I have a way that I take a route. Is what I do. It, it's really easy to know. And that way it gives time for everybody to recoup. Buying or selling or whatever and get back to normal prices. Infantry forward! A little dark. I don't like it when it's dark because it's so hard to see. They have night vision. They can perfectly see you. Gotcha. Ooh, must have went right in between them. Quicken tree! Damn it! Bam tree! I should have let him get that last guy. Oh! Well, two of them went down, but they all leveled. They're ready to go. I made it. Even being that bad, I got it. Nine thousand. I only need about another six grand and he can go out. I need to find a companion badly. Oh man. Cause that dude ain't ready to go. I I can send him. I'm just gonna need to call him back in in like thirty turns. Oh I saw that group of twenty. Um yeah, I saw that group of twenty. I'm hoping I can get to them before somebody else does, but I do need to watch my life. That's, that's the one good thing about me getting a wife, is I take her equipment. And I have reasons for it. Some people don't like it. They think it's cheesy. However, I, I have... I, I said this in my last video. I can play it two ways. I can play it role-playing or not. In role-playing, she wants me to have it as a wedding gift. Non-role-playing, I don't like the fact that if your wife dies in childbirth, you don't get any of her equipment. That, I don't like. And that's why I take the equipment. Because I've had it happen to me three times, I believe. And I don't like that. Just like executing lords, I think you should get their stuff. I really do. I hope they survive. Little worried about this one. There they go. I got you. I got you. Where are you guys? Get him, guys. Get him. Watch your back. He's running. Oh. 
Down you go. And I bet they all leveled. One battle. Yep, 2700. Boom. Just like that. Plus what I got from the battle as well. Really what I'm looking at is as I would like to send out the next guy. Because he goes out from here. Poros is there. The Gnostica is there. Um, it might actually be smarter to put him here. That gets two cities in between. And then the next one I can put in Sanala. The next one can go into Ortizia. And that still leaves room. I don't like him up here. Oh no. This is a death trap waiting to happen. So I can put another one here, another one here, and another one over here. So I am all set up. So let us go down here to Hubyar. That's where we're going to send him out. Even though he's not ready, that's what sucks. The dude's not ready to go. Thank you. Come on. He's just that little bit short, but he's got no real good points to put it into. Push comes to shove, I send him out, and I bring him back in soon. Uh, I blow the 15 grand. You know, you gotta, you gotta make a choice. How much are you gonna lose by just sitting here and holding on to him? That's kind of what you have to decide. It's all about making the right decisions, and when is it time for me to upgrade them? That is the question. I feel like I want to do it now. There's so many horses now that... Look at my speed, 6.3. That'll go down when I start getting pack horses. And you can lose them too, in battle. Yeah, I lost one. There you go. It's a chance to take. Three Sumter. Uh, nothing spectacular, but a little bit of loot. Not nothing great, but we should be really close to sending him out. I don't. I lost my scout, so I can't really see. Yeah, there's a uh, looter close by because that could be a, a train the troops. However, I don't see a looter, and we are at thirteen six. We are really close. I don't think six is enough to level them. You need like about eight. This will give us enough to send out the ragged. Then I gotta take a little bit of time before I start making big profits. Because here's where I need to buy all that fish and grain and beer again. I gotta do it all over again. I, I just, I don't think they're going to level. There's a chance they could. But I don't think they will. Are you kidding me? Attack! I must have headshotted him because two shots isn't supposed to kill him. Yeah, go on, guys. That sucks. It means they're only going to kill five of them. 
Come on, guys. Good work. Yep, only four of them leveled. Damn it. I gotta take on another group. That really sucks. Alright. <clears throat> we'll look for another group. How about that? I'll take that. We don't even need to worry about this. This is nothing. Gotcha. And you. Really? A rock interrupts you like that? Just a rock? They wobbled. Done or done. Seven of them. Numbers going up. When it goes up, that means more pay. Two thousand seven hundred and thirty-nine. We are about a thousand short of sending out the ragged. Just a grand. That's it. Mine extortion by deserters. No, but train the troops right by a group of them. That's when you grab it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Another 2,700 right here. That will give us enough to send the ragged out, which I might just go ahead and do. I'll have to call him in early, which, which really sucks. It's not what I really want to do. I'm going to end up wasting a lot of money doing that. I just can't get him that damn level. And I don't know why. He just doesn't have the skills. I, I mean, I know he's going to gain one level just doing trading. That I already know. Really? Ay, ay, ay. Boy, do I look like a freaking amateur. Okay, I got to watch my life now. I'm about to go down. That's an awful lot of them. There I go. One down, two down, three down. They probably all leveled. You can wait and they could try to take them out. I'm not waiting. They did level. Only one's only one's right ready. Three died, two incapacitated. Three incapacitated. But they leveled. Let's see how much we get. Oh my god, I can't see it. it looks like 2800 I didn't get as much because they didn't, all of them didn't come back. But we do now have enough to send him out. Fish. That is a dirt cheap price. I, I can't resist it at that price. That is so cheap, it's ridiculous. Alright, I'm good. 
And we paid virtually nothing because we had all that battle loot on us. Alright. Did he level? No, no, I got stuff. And then we take hit points. Doesn't really matter. Uh, point, another point goes in there. Thinking about just sending him out. I'm thinking I'm going to send him out on a 10,500 run. As soon as he levels, pull him back in, give him his point, and then send him on a, uh, a 15,750 run. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go send him out right now. Only on a 10.5, a low one. Because I don't want to waste the money. That's what we're doing. And then we got to go find a damn companion. Britannia is where it's going to be, most likely. Are you kidding me? Uh, I was going to say, train the troops with him sitting there. This is where he's going out of. He's going out of Sanala. Alright, let's turn him off. We have, but we don't have him on anything. Oh my god, I'm almost the next freaking clan here. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's send him out. He's going only on a 10-5 run now. But it's just because we want him to get his level. That's that's all. Crap, I forgot. He's got to go out and put. Sorry about that. He must go out on foot because he has so much athletics. And he'll gain the athletics on foot. He will gain it. Oh, uh, let's just double check. Yep. He's got all that to gain. I mean, he's, he's got 120. He's got like 50 points. He's got two-handed to gain. He shouldn't have a problem getting two levels. A little bit of work involved, but um, I'm happy with him. We get one more companion, and then we are so close to getting another companion and a workshop. He's going out on a cheaper one. So, the Brave, we gotta write that down. Always write it down. Brave went out of Sanala. Alright. I still have a bunch of money, which is good because we're about to spend right now. Seven on the freaking grain. Kidding me. Um, 10 on fish, serious, oh my word, cheap dates, beer to 25, I'll take it all, oh I can't, I can't take it all, damn it, um, I want to hold on to that cheese. Oh, I do not want to give up the beer going to Valandia. We're going to freaking Valandia. Damn it. We're making money. As you can see, we're expected to make a thousand this turn. A thousand. You'll see it down here. There it goes. Oh, that, that's from what I just did. This is just expected and it changes throughout the day. But the number will appear down here. I don't have money to go pick up more grain down here and beer. Oh, I gotta come back up here and sell. Then I could technically go back down there. There you go. Damn, that is hard to see. I made, what is it, about 1400 I made? It's going to keep going up. Now let's hope we can sell some grain here. 
Sell some grain, buy some fish. Oof, not that great. It's only at 12. How much fish can I buy? I don't want it at 13. Um, I can get olives up there. I really want to get the beer. I know they're going to have beer and more grain down there. I am starting to get overweight, which is also a concern. I really would like... How, how much time are we at? Oh, we're about ready to end it. We are close to ending it. Um, I really want to grab more. I really do. I know we're overweight. Oh, yes. But you can get so much grain and beer down in Ascar. And we're going up to Volandia. I'm getting actually a little low on troops. I'm not paying attention to that. I'm getting a little low. I'm down to 37. That's not a lot. I should have more men than that. Down to 35. Well, there we go. Sumter horse. Three of them. I got a three desert horse. Nothing else that great. I would really like to hit Ascar and then end up stopping at Ortigia to end the episode. That is what I'd like to do. I am a little worried about horses right now. I don't really have a lot. As you can see, my speed is way down. I need to pick up some troops, and I need to pick up horses is what I need to do. Am I going the right way? No, I am not. So I'm going to pick up some troops. Great, I get one. You really want to hang a little bit over 40 when you're doing it. You know, 40 to 50 is a good number to set at if you're doing extortion by deserters. Five point two speed. Five point four. Well, we're really going to cut that down right now. Oh, it's going to get ugly right now. Five point seven on the speed. Yeah, that's about to change right really quick. Like, uh, I can't get much. That's it. That's all I can get. And I don't really want to sell off the cheese. Sixty on the oil. Wow, oh, shoot. We're going to have to live with it. 5.3 in the speed, so... Let's hurry up and hit Ortigia, and then we will end it there. Why is it not clicking? There we go. And we'll end it there. I have a boatload of stuff on me. All three guys are out. I got a bunch of stuff on me. We're about to hit the next clan tier, which means I can get one more workshop. I can already pick up two more companions. 
so I can get two more caravans out. And I bet you we're probably not even 60 days in, maybe 70 days. That's phenomenal. If you can do all that in less than 90 days, that's good. Let alone 60 or 70. Extortion by deserters, please. Nope, you do not want to be nice to me. That is okay. I will let you live. Alright, what you got for me? And then we're going to end up in Belandia. Uh, we need to take all these. And then you want fish, however, you're only at 15. That I don't like. I do not feel like selling anything here. 15 is is at that mark that's too low. 9 is way too low. He, however, does have grapes. Just at 20, though. Only buying the 20. Olives will pick up up there. Dates we already have. Not good. Not really. No. That's close to a good price. But I think we're going to call that right at that. We'll take this. Oh. I kind of didn't want to do that, but I guess we'll live with it. Sell off the stuff. Only have to pay seven nineteen. All right. So. Um. I do not want any of them. Coal Vider, I don't think is any good. Alright, so we are just short a clan tier 2. We got three caravans running. As you can see, expected amount 1,000 profit. Just from three caravans and our two workshops. Already, we're pulling a thousand a day. And we can get actually two more running. This will be one now. And as soon as that hits, another one, another workshop. We're doing absolutely phenomenal. I don't need a wife for any reason. There's no reason to get one unless I want to take her gear. There's literally no other reason because you're going to pay her wages. So why are you going to pay 40, 50 dinars every single day for the next 900 days? Granted, that's probably only about, what, 50,000? It's like 50,000 is all it is. But uh, the only reason why I would get a wife is to take her gear. There's no other reason. But I'm not really fighting, though. So I, I can't think of any reason to do that. We have these three who can make a group. Our brother will make our first group. And then our little sister will be next. She's at about 1087. She can join you. Your little brother is around 1090, late 1090, early 1091. Which that's getting close to near the end of the game. So we're sitting great. And then we still have another 2500 on us. And we have a decent amount of trade goods to go ahead and hit Melandi and sell. So we are at day number 61. Absolutely phenomenal. So we're having a great episode. It's ev everything is going perfect. This number is going to start skyrocketing soon when they get trade. Soon, two, three, four. And if I can get seven guys out, I could estimate over 10,000 a day I'm going to make. We're going to get to that soon enough. So until then, everybody, take care and thanks for watching.